And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, Friday morning began a lot like what we've seen over the last few days. A lot of cloud cover, a few light rain showers passing across the region. But check out the Tippecanoe County Courthouse now. That is sunshine bathing the Tippecanoe County Courthouse currently. And we're looking at pretty nice conditions going ahead throughout the remainder of your evening. 75 degrees right now. Winds from the north northeast at 3 miles per hour. The northerly winds sticking around helping keep temperatures a few degrees here and there. A little bit below average for this time of the year. 60 or 75 in Monticello. 81 still in Kentland. We're at 70 in New Richmond at this hour and even with the drier conditions today still flood warnings out for much of the viewing area and it's all thanks to the Wabash Iroquois Tip Canoe River cresting over the next 72 hours near moderate flood stage or just above it now the good news is the Wabash will begin to recede likely over the next 24 to 36 hours the Iroquois River near Newton and Jasper counties that will begin to recede over the next 48 hours or so it's the Tip Canoe River further off to the northeast that may see the longest time period of flooding as it recedes over the next 72 hours. Now, rainfall amounts over the last 24 hours. Not a whole lot to write home about. About four one hundredths of an inch for far southern Crawford's or Montgomery County, southern Tippecanoe County, about one one hundredth of an inch. Pay no attention to Benton County. We This is radar indicated rainfall amounts over the last 24 hours with a high humidity this morning interacting with the disturbance from the wind farms showing rainfall earlier on. Stay dry in Benton County earlier on today. And that's the same story we're dealing with now. Dry conditions throughout the viewing area. Unfortunately, more rain chances had our way over the next 24 to 36 hours. There's your light rainfall passing further off to the southeast of us. Some light cloud cover moving out of the region as well. Notice the round of moisture off to the west of us. It's all thanks to an inbound warm front making its way across the Great Plains, lifting northeastward and eventually making its way into our region. And as that occurs, our next chance of rainfall will likely arrive as early as tomorrow evening. As for the rest of your evening tonight, looking at pretty nice conditions, some light scattered cloud cover throughout the viewing area. All in all, pretty comfortable temperatures as well as we fall off back down into the upper 60s over the next few hours. 73 degrees by 7 p.m., 67 by 10 p.m., 1 a.m., 64, and we'll bottom out at 61 overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning with mainly clear to partly cloudy skies. Winds will begin the shift back to the south by tomorrow as this warm front inches its way a little bit closer to us. First increasing cloud cover, then chances of light showers moving in. Our real chances for a thunderstorm activity likely holding off until Sunday with the potential of severe weather moving in as well. Notice temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow as well. 83 degrees, your high temperature in West Lafayette for Saturday. Sunday getting up to 86 and we're looking at a high temperature of 88 here in Lafayette as early as Monday afternoon. Now notice the sustained rain chances Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Well, warm from moving in, ushering in the high moisture content, the warmer temperatures, all fueling chances for pop-up showers and thunderstorms for Sunday and Monday. Possibility of severe weather both of those days. The best chance of severe weather likely Tuesday as the cold front sweeps across the viewing area and interacts with those warm, muggy conditions here at the surface. So chances of severe weather in the forecast along with those warmer temperatures. All right. Thank you, Karen. Okay.